Eclipse is a learning experience for students as well. That's right. We'll take you to Doug Co. Our Melissa Garcia is at Bear Creek Elementary School in Highlands Ranch. And Melissa, this is such an exciting way to kick off the school year. It really is. The students here at Bear Canyon Elementary have been in school already for several days. In fact, today is their seventh day back for the new school year, but they have been using those days to really anticipate this. They have been learning about all kinds of things uh, related to the eclipse and using this as a science um, lesson, so to speak, and so much, again, anticipation leading up to this moment. Let's take a look at what they saw. The students took the solar event, as we mentioned, as a lesson in science and had a great teacher to help them out with that, Miss Deborah Charlton. They each had a pair of safety glasses, of course. That was a requirement that their teacher, uh, she went ahead and purchased all of those ahead of time. Everyone had their own pair. The classes made their own viewers also to project the sun's image onto paper. It was uh, made out of a shoe box for some of those. Others uh, used a cereal box. They got really creative and also as part of their experiments, they wore UV beads on their wrists and they gauged the temperature out here as the moon passed in front of the sun and it got pretty dark out here. Um, not only did the temperature drop about three degrees, but they learned also that the eclipse blocked UV rays, which made the UV beads turn colorless. And the kids here thought that was pretty cool. It, it was pretty cool just looking at it. Many of them made viewers, some even customized and made their own and they worked, so they were pretty excited. Um, learning about science investigation, they came up with a couple experiments having to do with the temperature, the UV beads, which worked the way we wanted them to. We thought it would, so that was great. Um, it's just been a great experience. After viewing the eclipse, the kids did go back inside, of course, to cool down. And you can bet that they will continue to talk about what they saw outside for this incredible event in the classroom for days, weeks, months, probably years to come, actually, when you think about it. So um, it was really cool to be a part of this. We want to thank Bear uh, Canyon Elementary so much for having us out. And we'll have more on what this was like for the teachers, for the kids coming up tonight on CBS 4 at 5 and 6 o'clock. We're live in Highlands Ranch, Melissa Garcia, CBS 4. News. This makes going to school a little bit easier and having the summer, you know, wind up. Yeah, it's one way to get back to school and start study science and talk about it.